Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Thursday, the 4th of January. Working our way through the book of Acts, yesterday in chapter 3 we read the story of Peter and John going to the temple and healing a lame man who then goes into the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. And that immediately attracts a crowd. Um, today in chapter 4 we continue the story. The priests and the uh, captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John while they were speaking to the people. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people, proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. There were three things that, that, that came to mind as I read that. The first is um, one person was healed. There must surely have been other people that were blind and lame and struggling and sick around the temple precincts. Only one of them was healed. And that's in almost stark contrast to some of the other stories in Acts where many people are healed, and certainly to Jesus' ministry, where after Jesus had healed Peter's mother-in-law, we told that night the whole town came to the door, bringing all the sick and the, the lame and the blind and the, 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 the burdened, and Jesus healed them all. And it just made me realize God doesn't deal in exactly the same way every single time. And the fact that God did something yesterday doesn't mean he will do exactly the same thing today. He will achieve his purposes in different ways. And here we have one person healed and then a crowd that was spoken to. And uh, just through this, this passage, it's time and again what Peter and John were teaching. They were speaking. They, they brought this message to the people. And it was for them, that was what was important. Um, and they were proclaiming the resurrection of the dead. And that was far more important than the healing because that, that lame man would now live a normal life for the rest of his life, 30 years. But then there's an eternity to face. And what Peter and John were proclaiming about Jesus would uh, equip people and open up eternity to them and will bring them eternal life. And that is far more important. Um, would you have health for a decade or blessing for eternity? <laughs> it's clear what the answer would be. And so uh, it's the words that they brought, and that was their focus. And then the, just the third thing, we would only have the history, and that's all we have, of the healing. There was a story. Um, what we have, because it moved into the message, we have that recorded for us in Scripture. And so the message that he, Peter was proclaiming about the resurrection of the dead, um, we have that today. And we, <laughs> we read through the fourth uh, chapter of Acts and we, we can see the, uh, that uh, message there. And that can impact us directly and that can bring us that message of hope, the message of the good news for eternity. And so we have a man healed for a season, a message open to the crowds, and a message we receive as well, opening eternity to us. Be encouraged by that and know that as we walk with God, we are blessed.